question 14. Is sacred scripture true? The books of scripture firmly, faithfully, and without error teach the truth, written under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. They have God as their author. How is the canon of scripture compiled? The Holy Spirit inspired the human authors, and the books were collected into what we have today as the Bible. Before the books could be admitted as part of the canon of Scripture, the Church investigated to ensure that it truly was inspired by the Holy Spirit. The books were then compiled into what we have today in the Bible, which is known as the canon of Scripture. Question 15. How can sacred scripture be truth if not everything in it is right? The Bible is not meant to convey precise historical information or scientific findings to us. Moreover, the authors were children of their time. Their forms of expression are influenced by the sometimes inadequate cultural images of the world around them. Nevertheless, Everything that man must know about God and the way of his salvation is found with infallible certainty in sacred scripture. Question 16. What is the right way to read the Bible? The right way to read sacred scripture is to read it prayerfully. In other words, with the help of the Holy Spirit, under whose influence it came into being. It is God's word and contains God's essential communication to us. Remember, sacred scripture is God's word, his revelation to us, which helps us to know him and his will for us. We ought to read the Bible prayerfully. If you try to read the Bible prayerfully but still struggle to understand, you can reach out to a local Catholic priest or your local Catholic diocese. You can ask what assistance and resources they offer to help you better understand sacred scripture. So, what are the books of the Bible? The Bible is also called the Canon of Scripture, which is divided into the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Old Testament is comprised of 46 books. The books are divided into different categories, the first of which are the historical books, followed by the wisdom books, and the prophets. The New Testament is comprised of 27 books, which includes the Gospels, Acts of the Apostles, the Letters of St. Paul, and the Catholic Letters. Hi, I'm Katie Locus. This is my sign name. I'm from the Archdiocese of Kansas City in Kansas. Thank you so much for watching our video this week. Hope to see you again next week. Bye!